Welcome to part 3 of my 360 Hidden Gem series. Get ready for another 5 games you may have missed out on, each costing next to nothing these days. It's easy to see why fans of Banjo-Kazooie overlooked or even disliked the last title in the series. Nuts and Bolts pretty much abandoned the platforming which made the original Nintendo 64 game so great, in favour of vehicle construction. It may not be the sequel everyone was hoping for, but Nuts and Bolts is a fantastic game nonetheless. The plot begins with Banjo, Kazooie and Gruntilda out of shape after all these years since Banjo-Tooie. In steps the Lord of Games, proposing a competition which will involve traversing six worlds, completing different vehicle challenges along the way. You collect jiggies to open up new worlds, much like the original games. Jiggies are won by completing challenges. What keeps your attention in this game is the innovative vehicle editor. Any sort of vehicle can be created from land, sea or air, only your imagination limits you. Most missions have one basic task, so this allows you to be creative in your designs. For example, if you was building a vehicle for a race, you could build a fast one to speed past opponents, or you could build a tank to blow them up. The different worlds in Nuts and Bolts look fantastic, with each one having a patchwork look to it. The music is also good, with some tracks remixed from the original games. Enslaved is set in a post-apocalyptic future. Most of the human race has been destroyed by global war, leaving behind mechs that still function to kill. You play as Monkey as you escape a slave ship. In the process you meet Trip. She places a slave headband on Monkey which forces you to follow her orders, and if she dies, you die. Trip forces you to help her to return to her village, and the story continues from there. The game is played in a third person perspective, and your main weapon is the staff. This can be used for close combat, and thrown for long range attacks too. You also have a cloud device too, which is used for a hoverboard. There's also a lot of climbing sections through the game and puzzle sections too. As you need to keep Trip alive, your headband allows you to give orders to her, to stay or to follow to keep her safe. Overall, there's a good variety to the gameplay. The graphics are great too, environments are nicely designed, portraying a desolate world with damaged structures and overgrown greenery. Enslaved is a pleasure to play through, and a definite recommendation from me. Vanquish is a third person sci-fi shooter that focuses on fast, stylish gameplay as well as huge action sequences. You play as Sam Gideon as you join the US military's retaliation on a Russian extremist group who have taken over an orbital space station. Your battle suit allows for some fast paced action as you can zip across the battlefield, slow down time and effortlessly jump in and out of cover. You'll find a variety of different weapons to use throughout each level, from the usual shotguns and assault rifles to more futuristic types. The score system and constant action almost makes Vanquish feel like an arcade game. With crazy action sequences and epic set pieces, Vanquish will hold your attention for its duration of the campaign.
Dark Sector may seem like an average third person shooter on the surface, but what really sets it apart from the others is its glaive weapon. Like a boomerang of death, it returns to you after throwing it at your enemies. You can use this weapon to decapitate enemies, solve environmental puzzles and pick up items. You can also use aftertouch to control the glaive after you've thrown it, making kills super satisfying. Also, you can combine your glaive with different elements like fire and electricity to give it some extra power. In terms of plot, your character is sent to find Robert Mesner, who is responsible for spreading a newly discovered virus. He ends up infecting you, which in turn gives you new abilities. The game is a bit rough around the edges, but the glaive gameplay is fun enough to keep you playing through the campaign. Ridge Racer Unbounded takes the series in a different direction, focusing on pure destruction rather than over the top drifting. Made by the same guys that created the Flat Out series, you can see they've brought elements from that series to this, with destructible environments and less arcadey car control. The game is set in the fictional city of Shatter Bay, so all the tracks are very urban in design. Unbounded takes ideas from other racing games, such as the takedown system from Burnout. The game is also quite similar to Split Second, which I talked about in a previous Hidden Gems video. You fill up your power meter by performing drifts and destroying scenery. A full power meter gives you a speed boost necessary for taking down opponents and destroying structures. The game also includes a track editor too. So there's another 5 hidden gems for the 360. If you know any 360 games that didn't get the attention it deserved, post it in the comments below and I'll see you next time.